The weather's heating up across the region as we slide into spring here in Northwest Arkansas. And with that, our real estate market is starting to pick up steam as well. So if you've been thinking about making a move this year, make sure to stick with me to the end of this video because we have a ton of great information to cover here in your March 2024 monthly market update. Now, as always, let's start with our inventory levels. Uh, in February 2024, we, we had approximately 6.31 months of supply for homes in our market, uh, but we've picked up the pace of home selling across the area, and so we're currently below five months of inventory coming in right here at that 4.86. Now, that is a shift away from the balanced market we saw this winter, and it's tilting more toward a seller's market, just as we've been predicting. Uh, in we're seeing more buyers coming into this spring market, putting more homes under contract and more closings taking place than what we saw over the last several months. Uh, and again, this months of supply metric, uh, it's looking at all the available inventory. Okay, so both the active and the pending uh, right here these active numbers and the pending numbers, okay, added together and then divided by the last 30 days of closed sales right here. And that's how we get this 4.86 months of supply. So the lower that that final number goes, like below, below four months of supply, the hotter the market is. Now we do expect that number to drop even more by early summer, pulling us back into a very solid seller's market. And with 670 sales, recorded in February uh, right here we bounced off those January lows and uh, you know we should continue to see an increase in activity like we do every year right we come up from uh, those January lows and and bounce into the rest of the year so now uh, with 3373 active and pending listings you know we're, we're just kind of getting back to our normal uh, supply numbers in our market. However, if you look, we're still well below those pre-COVID inventory levels uh, like, like here in 2019 and really all the way back to 2016. Now in February, the average days on market came in at right here, right at 71 days on market, uh, while the median days on market dropped to 51 days. And you can see that drop right here. So, you know, the market is moving uh, pretty quickly. You know, once a home hits the market, it's typically getting a contract within the first few weeks. So most properties are moving pretty quickly once they hit the market with, you know, a significant portion of homes finding buyers within the first few weeks of, of listing. But it's definitely a slower pace than the frenzy that we saw, you know, back through, uh, back here through 2021 and even in 2022. Now, as for Pricing, February saw an average sale price of $411,210 uh, and a median sale price of $350,000. 637 so our pricing is still on a you can see here it's still kind of on a slight upward trajectory and our market keeps growing now i expect this average pricing level to continue at or above this four hundred thousand dollar level as we move through 2024 with probably a modest price growth throughout this next year shouldn't be anything too crazy uh, prices going too high uh, but i I don't really see evidence that they should be going too much lower either. And as interest rates might be adjusting lower, uh, we may even see home prices move higher just at, at, at a little bit faster rate than what we saw in 2023. So more on those rate adjustments in just a minute. So as you can see, average prices per square foot around the region stayed, you know, right around that $200 uh, per square foot this month with some being more, the standout here being Bentonville at $243 a square foot. There's been a lot of uh, low square footage, high price per square foot properties, especially downtown being sold in Bentonville. So that's kind of what's bringing us to that number. Uh, Fayetteville was at $210 a square foot. And in the counties, you know, Benton County was 205. Washington County was 197. As for financing, the 30 year fixed rate mortgage average, you know, uh, it had been sticking right here around 6.6%. Uh, however, in February, it did jump up all the way to about 6.6%. 9% and it has since pulled back in the following few weeks uh, from that level and we're sitting right around 6.7% right now uh, and most industry experts are expecting rates to go a little bit lower over the coming year 
However, I gotta point out, there were forecasts for lower rates by the end of 2023 as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm expecting these rates to be probably in the sixes for most of this year. Uh, and perhaps we could see a dip down into the fives a little bit later in the year, maybe you know closer to the election and, and all of that going on later to the end of the year. The Fed, I think, is expected to lower two or three times. But you know, don't expect a return to the COVID era rates. Uh, this is the rate environment we'll probably be in for a while. As we roll into 2024, here at the Lone Rock team, we're already starting to see an uptick of activity and clients reaching out to put their plans in place for this year. You know, despite the interest rates, there are a lot of folks who are ready to move ahead with their plans. That lock-in effect of, of 2023, where homeowners saw really no benefit to selling their home and, and kind of giving up those low mortgage payments, that might have started to crack at this point. So the rate shock that kept so many potential buyers on the sidelines last year seems to be so subsiding as people are starting to realize that this is just our new normal. So a lot of people are itching to make a move happen and, and they're finally deciding to jump in. So it's going to be an interesting spring and summer selling season this year. And I gotta say, as much as I love making these videos for you guys, there is one thing I love even more and that is helping families and individuals from all over the U.S. make the move here to Northwest Arkansas. You know, our, our team has helped countless families make that move. So whether you're coming out next week or next month or next year, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Really, we do want to hear from you. So uh, our contact information is right here and, uh, and we'll also link it in the description just in case you missed that, uh, the on-screen pop-up there. Uh, but I look forward to helping you and yours make the move to Northwest Arkansas. So our NWA real estate market starting the year off really strong, you know, with fresh inventory hitting the market and pricing continuing upward, there's a lot to be optimistic about as we move through 2024. So thanks for checking out this monthly market update. We'll catch you on the next one.